What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be flashing the Mocky OS and see how the experience is and I'm gonna show you how to flash it of course so let's begin I have downloaded the latest build which is the 23rd February let me show you the build version and stuff and here as you can see this is the 23rd February 2020 build the build is about 800 MB and I also have the big G apps of Android 10 of course and you can also use the open G apps too if you would like so right now as you can see I'm on the oxygen OS if you haven't checked out this oxygen OS video here is a card for you and the oxygen OS has been running pretty great but I'll flash the mock OS right now and the mock OS is based on Android 10 of course now let me just reboot to recovery and I'm gonna use the orange fox recovery over here and from the version as you can see I'm gonna use this R10.1 underscore 2 version the stable one and I'll link it below if you want to use this orange fox recovery let me go home first thing you need to do is you need to like wipe stuff so before doing anything like that make sure you have a backup of your whole internal storage to your PC or somewhere because if something goes wrong you can restore it right away so right now first we have to go to wipe then select cache dalvik system and data and vendor 2 you can select that now swipe to wipe once we have wiped these things go home now go to your download folder and here i have the rom file itself so i'll select this and then add to queue and the big g apps i don't need to flash any fcrypt disabler or something like that for redmi note 5 pro because my storage is decrypted and if in case you reboot and your device boots back to the recovery itself make sure you format the data i have selected this reboot after installation so it will just like automatically reboot after flashing i just swipe to confirm flash the rom file and the gapps file of course so the flashing is done it's rebooting now and don't worry about this splash image because it shows one plus because i was on the oxygen os okay here we have the mocky's boot animation well my first impressions would be this is the real og boot animation what we were used to in the early days of Cyanogen mod and this Moki ROM. So here we have successfully booted into the system. And by the way, don't worry about like this Chinese stuff because you can change the language from here, I guess. Let me choose English, United States. And here we go. We have the English texts. Now let's just set up the ROM. I don't have a SIM card in here. Let's put my Wi-Fi password. Now I'm currently setting up the fingerprint scanner and I think it should work fine as it's setting up like pretty much fine. Okay, so right now it says Moki features. Now I'll hit next. It shows the Moki OS logo up here. Looks pretty cool. Now I'll just click on start. And by the way, the setup process was fine. So this is how the home screen looks like. Pretty cool. Well, some things are downloading because I am like restoring my Google app data backup. Let's check what launcher do we get by default. So I think this is the launcher launcher. Let me see. So yeah, this is the launcher launcher by default. So that is just great. In the gestures, we do have the double tap to sleep and stuff and all the other gestures and you get all the good things about the launcher launcher. Of course, you get the themes, desktop kind of customizations and stuff. A lot of things we have over here. You don't need to worry about anything. As you can see, it, the phone just went to sleep by double tapping anywhere on the home screen. So that's just great. Now let me show you the unlocking speed over here. Well, two times it did not unlock. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just like placing my finger wrong. Okay, right now it unlocked fine. Again, it unlocked fine. Yeah, so I was just like misplacing my finger, I guess. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner seems to be pretty good. Let's do it from the right finger and as you can see it unlocked pretty fine no issues whatsoever now let me quickly go into the settings and show you the about section and stuff this is gonna be my first impressions of this rom of course in the android version we all of course have the android version as android 10 the mocky os version mk100.0 and here we have the 23rd february version of course for wired this is a nightly build again the security patch is latest of february 5th 2020 then the stock kernel is perf plus kernel and here is the build number let me go back to the system and here we have the mocky updater and from here you can like check for updates anytime and by the way the updates 
like coming every day or every night so yeah and there was a ad in the ui when you check for updates so yeah not too bad i guess in the gestures we have the system navigation you can like use this android 10 navigations of course if you want and in the settings well we do not have the option to hide the pill over here but yeah i'm fine with it we also have the two and three button navigation of course now let me go back and we also have the swipe to take screenshot and as you can see it also has the scrolling feature so pretty good that we have this oxygenos kind of screenshot feature now we have the status bar option in the like, system panel and here i will show you from the top we have the quick pull down let me check the right yeah the quick pull down from the right side works pretty fine and then we get the quick setting tiles and column numbers as you can see you can set like three four five six over here and then we have the network traffic indicator let me go back to the system icons here we have the headset bluetooth etc icons and here we have clock position and stuff you can choose it to center if you want the clock in the center then we have show seconds am pm style battery status style and stuff okay so let me put the phone in silent and there you heard the sound so the speakers and stuff should be working fine the battery percentage you can choose it to be next to the icon or inside the icon i'll choose next to the icon because the inside one is like really small and brightness slider and auto brightness is there also this brightness control let me check okay all right so this brightness control like by just swiping on the status bar is working fine so you don't need to worry about it pretty cool features i would say now let me go back to the buttons and here we have the invert layout and stuff if you're using the two button and three button stuff in the power menu we have the airplane mode and stuff well where is the advanced reboot then okay so i found this one later and like in the developer options if you enable it you will find this advanced reboot and once you enable this in the power menu if you tap and hold you will see the normal like power restart and screenshot of course as usual but right now if you tap on restart it will show the directly rebooting to recovery or fast boot option so yeah that's great that the advanced reboot is still there but like you have to enable the developer options for that long press for torch is there let's see if it actually works my power button is kind of broken again but yeah as you can see long press for torch is actually working fine let me turn it off okay it did work now let me scroll down we have the keyboard and stuff like some kind of show panel on the left the volume panel can show or can be shown on the left side too so with this feature this is really great and you can expand the volume panel too i guess yeah this is a stock android 10 feature nothing fancy so right now let's just go to the battery settings and here is how the battery settings looks like there is a kind of shade that i am noticing which i do not find in like most android 10 roms if you are noticing if you go into any settings there is some kind of gray shade and the white part over here let's put the phone into the dark mode okay so we have the heads up toggle over here the dark mode okay so dark theme is there let me go back and disable heads up and if i put the phone into dark theme and still we have some kind of black shade over here so yeah those are pretty cool let's disable the dark theme for the time being so again this is how the battery settings looks like and we also have the battery manager and stuff if you would like those and battery usage you can see the full usage from here let me go back we have the display settings and from here we have the brightness level night light and stuff is there let's check if it's working so yeah the night light is actually working we have the live display mode from where you can change the rgb of the screen and the hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen then we have the dark theme of course and the styles and wallpapers features are there you can change the clock on the lock screen then the grid and stuff then the wallpapers are there well we do not get any live wallpapers i guess by default over here but you can always like separately install them let me scroll down we have the full screen apps option you can like force some app to be on the full screen lock screen display we do not have the always on display i guess so ambient display is there but i don't see any always on display you don't actually need always on display on ips display of course double tap to wake and sleep is there let's check on the status bar yeah the status bar double tap to sleep did work double tap to wake also does work so pretty fine and wake up on plug i'll just disable it and it is good that we have the option to disable it actually and prevent accidental wake up and stuff is there now let me go back to the sound settings and here into advanced we have the touch vibration and stuff the me audio direct is not there but what you do have is the audio effects i guess so yeah as you can see we do have the audio effects and i really like this icon just like look at this icon it looks really cool do you see this audio effects icon i really like it this looks really cool and like you can use this with any headphones you have 
so yeah this audio effects i am seeing it like after a lot of days so i'm just like scrolling like this and here we have the camera the stock camera let me see okay so this is a cyanogen mod camera i guess and you do get like this kind of features i mean this is a snapdragon camera you can call it too this is the default camera and you can also install anx camera and stuff if you would like and by default you do get this screen recorder and stuff although i am not sure if it will actually work so my first impressions would be the rom seems to be pretty great in features and stuff and it is quite feature packed and also it has a lot of customizations and stuff so actually i am really liking it and not hating this rom at all so i would say you can definitely try this rom but yeah in the setup and stuff at the first time you will see some kind of chinese text and even while you are downloading you will see some like chinese written stuff so that is how it has been with moki rom in the past too because the like lead development of moki os is kind of mainly in china but yeah you are definitely going to use a g apps so you can like change the text to english and wifi volte and stuff should be working fine too although i am not sure about the banking apps and stuff but yeah you can always use magis for those too first impressions i i would say the rom feels pretty fast and like it gets updated every day or every night like how much more things do you want i think this is pretty great so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kd and take signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now